Hello everyone, and welcome to my General Hospital YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Updates and teasers for General Hospital point to a wave of intriguing comebacks that are igniting fan excitement. However, there's one more name that GH ought to give careful thought to adding to this roster. From 1983 to 1986, Sherilyn Walter played Celia Quartermain Putnam Hulse in the ABC soap series, and her iconic portrayal will never fade from the hearts of fans. Many think this is the ideal time for her return, particularly since one of the characters on the canvas needs a relative. Imagine the thrill if Sasha Gilmore Corbin was proven to be a real member of the Q Clan, given how much she is already involved with the Quartermain family. Social media users have already made assumptions about Sasha's possible relationship to Celia, as the two women bear a striking similarity. If this theory is correct, Celia would have a great chance to go back and be with Sasha again, which would make for an engrossing plot that fans would adore. Head of a fan gathering honoring Santa Barbara, where Sherilyn Walter is most known for portraying the sneaky Elena Nicholas, TV Insider recently had the rare chance to speak with her. When Walter saw a photo of Sophia Matson, he noticed how similar the two looked. Witter talked affectionately about her experiences on General Hospital, even if she was unable to corroborate any information regarding the possible relationship between Celia and Sasha due to her lack of knowledge of the author's intentions. Reminiscing about her amazing trip during her time on the show, she indicated her desire to take on the role again if the opportunity arose. She also emphasized the long-lasting relationships made in the profession by highlighting her friendship with Emma Sams. The on-screen relationship between Holly and Celia is a welcome diversion from the typical rivalries seen in soap operas, and both performers genuinely enjoy this dynamic. The news that Emma Sams will be playing Holly Sutton again is exciting because it means that Celia Quartermain might make a comeback. This is a tempting option because Sherilyn Walter has voiced her excitement about taking on Celia's role again. Sasha believes her mother has passed away in the interim, but soap operas are known for their surprising turns of events. Imagine if Celia returned to Sasha's life as her biological mother. Future spoilers hint that Sasha ought to establish deep familial ties in Port Charles, so check back for additional details on prospective kin and updates on her family's narrative. Kristen Vaganos and Charles Mashur have been promoted from their prior recurrent roles as a result of those adjustments. Mashur and Vaganos could have a good future at Guiche now that they appear to have secured contracts. Since the beginning, Mashur has dazzled fans in the role of Brennan, who recently disappeared from Pentonville and ended up returning to work at the WSB. In addition, Carly Spencer may later affirm and express gratitude to Brennan for ostensibly saving her bacon by disabling the FBI's evidence against her. The fact that Brennan is no longer concerned about that bothersome prison sentence gives up new narrative possibilities, and possibly even the possibility of finding love in the future. Vaganos has been killing it as Molly in the interim. In the wake of Christina Corinthos Davis' window tumble and pool fall, Vaganos has given some incredible performances. Since the baby has passed away, Molly is having a lot of difficulties, and as the plot develops, things could turn out surprisingly. Molly will have even more material after her father gets back to town, because Rick Lansing is returning to Port Charles later this month. It's understandable that Guy H decided to upgrade these amazing cast members after realizing their potential. Kristen Vaganos and Charles Mashur have shown to be excellent additions and are deserving of contract status. We anticipate that there will be more cast shakeups revealed in the upcoming weeks and we'll be sure to keep you updated on any other significant developments. There is reportedly a lot more drama developing at the ABC soap opera General Hospital, so be sure to tune in to see what happens to Brennan, Molly, and many other characters. Sonny reassures his daughter Christina that he is taking care of Ava and that she should get some rest. He must assure Christina that Ava will not be allowed to take another life the way she did her daughter's. Listing all of Ava's transgressions, ranging from Morgan's death to Connie's, 
Christina implores her father to prevent Ava from harming any other family member the way she killed her own daughter. Sonny assures her, adding that she's emotional right now. He emphasizes that neither he nor Morgan benefited from it. Christina claims that her only option is to pursue justice for her child. Sonny informs Christina that Ava will ultimately pay for this, but it will just cause her pain in the long run. He is not sure how. Christina gets upset since she hasn't been compensated for any of her previous work. Sonny tells her he has pictures that Brick Sky took of the altercation, proof that Ava touched her. Sonny shows Christina the pictures after she asks to see them. Christina looks through his phone's pictures. Sonny says Ava is under arrest and the PCTD has these pictures. Sonny tells his daughter that she won't be leaving this one. She claims that even if Ava is serving a life sentence in jail, her child is still dead. She will be all right, according to Sonny. Until she is certain that Ava is dead, Christina won't. Sonny assures her that he will see to Ava's needs. As she enters, Alexis asks, how can I take care of Ava? Alexis remarks that this is an excellent place to talk about murder when Sonny brings her to the chapel. If he will comply with Christina's request, Alexis queries. According to Alexis, Christina is delicate and traumatized, which is why her care is being meticulously monitored in order to prevent a hysterectomy. Alexis tells him not to comply with Christina's request because she fears that Ava's passing will have an impact on Christina's soul. According to her, Christina won't be able to live with herself and will eventually feel accountable. Sonny claims to be aware of everything and to be looking out for Christina. He refers to Ava as his issue to resolve. Michael shows up to visit his sibling. Since he is aware of her suffering and wishes he could take it away from her, he apologizes to her. She tells him that Wiley is still alive and that his story has a beautiful conclusion. Michael is informed by Christina that she saw the pictures of her and Ava fighting. Christina asks Michael to send her copies since she needs them. He has copies. After receiving the pictures from Michael, she looks at the final moment her child was with her. Why had she gone there, she wonders. She longs to enter that door and travel back in time. That way, her child would still be with her, she sobs. Willow shows up later, and in the hallway, she and Michael share an embrace. Christina is hurting and in a bad place, Michael informs her. Willow claims that they both comprehend that location. Michael requests that she discuss Jonah's passing with Christina. He is aware that it's a big ask. Christina looks at pictures of herself while she was pregnant in her room again. She claims that, in contrast to all that Ava has taken from her, her kid has changed her life and shown her the importance of a mother's love. Kevin and Laura finally meet in his office. She claims to have just visited Heather in an effort to lift her spirits. According to Laura, Heather worries that she will leave her and stop coming to see her. Kevin claims that she is experiencing mixed emotions since reality is starting to set in. Although Laura made an effort to soothe her, she feels burdened by the realities of Pentonville. Kevin says she gets flashes of what she has lost when she goes to the hospital. Laura had known Heather both before and after her transformation into a horror show, but this was a different Heather. Despite Portia thanking her for abandoning Heather's case, she feels conflicted about it. Kevin is relieved to learn that her and Portia have reconciled. Laura claims that while she has always liked Portia and Trina, she also recognizes Portia's perspective. As Heather was attempting to do as well, she was watching out for her kid. Although she doesn't regret asking the questions, Heather ought to stay behind bars. Next, TJ lashes out at Molly on General Hospital, saying, You don't want to be a part of this. Molly informs Nina that this is not how things had expected to go. Willow believes she can assist after speaking with Liz. The only thing I'm happy about is ruining your evening, declares Anna to someone. Brennan pays Carly a visit and remarks, This kind of experience shouldn't be hurried. Blaze is told by Brooke Lynn, You have to seize this opportunity. When Natalia sees Christina, she begs her to let her go. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.